In physics, the Eightfold Way is a theory organizing subatomic hadrons. The name was coined by American physicist Murray Gell-Mann as an allusion to the Noble Eightfold Path of Buddhism. It led to the development of the quark model. Topic: <laughs> Organization. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Octets and decuplets. The Eightfold Way organizes the mesons and spin minus one half baryons into an octet. An equivalent theory was independently proposed by Israeli physicist Yuval Naaman. The principles of the Eightfold Way also applied to the spin minus three halves baryons, forming a decouplet. However, one of the particles of this decouplet had never been previously observed. Gell-Mann called this particle the omega minus and predicted in 1962 that it would have a strangeness minus 3, electric charge minus 1 and a mass near 1680 MeV, C2. In 1964, a particle closely matching these predictions was discovered by a particle accelerator group at Brookhaven. Gell-Mann received the 1969 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the theory of elementary particles. Historical development Development Historically, quarks were motivated by an understanding of flavor symmetry. First, it was noticed that groups of particles were related to each other in a way that matched the representation theory of SU from that, it was inferred that there is an approximate symmetry of the universe which is parametrized by the group SU-3. Finally, 1964, this led to the discovery of three light quarks up, down, and strange interchanged by these SU-3 transformations. <laughs> Modern interpretation The Eightfold Way may be understood in modern terms as a consequence of flavor symmetries between various kinds of quarks. Since the strong nuclear force affects quarks the same way regardless of their flavor, replacing one flavor of quark with another in a hadron should not alter its mass very much, provided the respective quark masses are smaller than the strong interaction scale, which holds for the three lights quarks. Mathematically, this replacement may be described by elements of the SU group. The octets and other hadron arrangements are representations of this group. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Flavor symmetry. Topic: <inaudible> SU3. <inaudible> there is an abstract three-dimensional vector space. Up quark. 1 0 0 down quark 0 1 0 strange quark 0 0 1 display style text up quark right arrow begin p matrix 1 0 0 end p matrix q quad text down quark right arrow begin p matrix 0 1 0 end p matrix q quad text strange quark right arrow begin p matrix 0 0 1 end p matrix and the laws of physics are approximately invariant under applying a determinant one unitary transformation to this space sometimes called a flavor rotation x Y Z A X Y Z, where A is in SU three. Display style begin P matrix X Y Z end P matrix mapsto A begin P matrix X Y Z end P matrix quad text where A text is in SU three. Here SU three refers to the Lie group of three times three unitary matrices with determinant one special unitary group. For example, the flavor rotation A equals 010-100001 display style A equals begin P matrix 0 and 1 and 0 minus 1 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end P matrix is a transformation that simultaneously turns all the up quarks in the universe into down quarks and vice versa. 
More specifically, these flavor rotations are exact symmetries if only strong force interactions are looked at, but they are not truly exact symmetries of the universe because the three quarks have different masses and different electroweak interactions. This approximate symmetry is called flavor symmetry, or more specifically flavor SU symmetry. Topic. Connection to representation theory Assume we have a certain particle, for example, a proton, in a quantum state, psi, display style, psi, wrangle. If we apply one of the flavor rotations A to our particle, it enters a new quantum state which we can call a psi, display style A, psi, wrangle. Depending on A, this new state might be a proton, or a neutron, or a superposition of a proton and a neutron, or various other possibilities. The set of all possible quantum states spans a vector space. Representation theory is a mathematical theory that describes the situation where elements of a group here, the flavor rotations A in the group SU are automorphisms of a vector space here, the set of all possible quantum states that you get from flavor rotating a proton. Therefore, by studying the representation theory of SU we can learn the possibilities for what the vector space is and how it is affected by flavor symmetry. Since the flavor rotations A are approximate, not exact, symmetries, each orthogonal state in the vector space corresponds to a different particle species. In the example above, when a proton is transformed by every possible flavor rotation A, it turns out that it moves around an eight-dimensional vector space. Those eight dimensions correspond to the eight particles in the so-called baryon octet proton, neutron, sigma plus, sigma zero, sigma minus, xi minus, xi zero, lambda. This corresponds to an eight-dimensional octet representation of the group SU-3. Since A is an approximate symmetry, all the particles in this octet have similar mass, every Lie group has a corresponding Lie algebra, and each group representation of the Lie group can be mapped to a corresponding Lie algebra representation on the same vector space. The Lie algebra S U can be written as the set of 3 times 3 traceless Hermitian matrices. Physicists generally discuss the representation theory of the Lie algebra S U instead of the Lie group SU since the former is simpler and the two are ultimately equivalent. 